Hello loves, Lauren here. Welcome to another practice with me. I've got really exciting practice for you today because it is International Yoga Day. It's also the summer solstice and it's also my boyfriend's birthday. So just a little shout out to him. <laughs> so for today's practice, we are going to be celebrating all of those lovely things, celebrating yoga and celebrating the longest day of the year. So we're going to start with some sun salutations, of course, and then we're going to move through an all levels flow. So this is a practice for everyone today, no matter whether you've been practicing for years or you're literally starting right here, right now. You're free to join this practice, okay? So just making sure you've got a little bit of space around you, and then you're going to meet me at the top of your mat spreading the toes down into the ground and let's have a little bit of softness through the knees let the arms just hang heavy down by our sides and let's just take a few moments to close off the eyes here and close off the outside world and as you arrive onto the mat for your international yoga day practice for your solstice practice let's just see how we feel right here right now so notice how the breath feels as it gently moves in and out through the nose, traveling deep down towards your lungs, filling up the lungs completely here. As you exhale, gently following the breath on its journey back out. Beautiful. Notice how the earth feels beneath your feet, no matter what surface you are on, regardless of whether it's a yoga mat or whether it's hardwood floors, carpets, or even if you're practicing outside, can you feel the earth beneath you? Allow the weight to spread relatively equally between both feet. And as the feet really nestle into the earth, can you feel as though you can draw up the energy of the earth from your feet? And feel the crown of the head shining tall up towards the sky. See if we can allow ourselves to literally receive the best of both. We're receiving that deep, true grounding from the earth below. But also this potential from the endless sky above. And here we are just amidst it all. Breathing, being. As always, there's no need to feel a certain way here or act a certain way. You are free to feel and free to be exactly as you are. So again, just gently tuning in with the breath. Seeing if we can use the breath as our guide today. Moving in time with our inhales, in time with our exhales. And as you listen to your breath now, perhaps imagine it's your body kind of gently whispering back to you. What does your body have to say to you today? And in the same way, the wind outside conveys the state of the weather. Our breath is an excellent way of conveying the weather of our minds here. To settle into this deep communication with your breath and just really see where you're at today. Take it all in. If you're practicing outside, you might feel the warmth of the sun against your skin, or that gentle breeze, the air around you. Let's take three breaths here and with each breath we take, let's see if we can allow it to be that little bit deeper than the last. So again, take that deep breath in, fill up the lungs. Deep breath out. Twice more and again, slightly deeper than the last deep breath in. Deep breath out. One final time and again, let it be the deepest, most conscious breath we've had yet today. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Beautiful. From here, you can keep the eyes closed if that feels okay for you. Or you might start to flutter the eyes open, welcome yourselves back into your little yoga space today. And then from here, let's take a deep breath in. We're going to sweep the arms up to the sky, growing tall. You might follow your fingertips with your gaze. Take it easy if this is the first movement of your day. 
going to do an exhale. We're going to swan dive it down. So have that little hinge at the hips and the hips towards the back. Heart dives forwards, diving into your forward fold. Beautiful. Maybe allowing the head to drop that little bit heavier. So rather than looking down to the ground in between your feet, can you actually look back behind you between your legs? And again, this is our first few movements. So we might notice places of resistance, places of tension maybe. And without trying to push those feelings to one side, can we actually see that they're there and maybe smile back at them, smile back at that resistance? Beautiful. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. And then as we inhale, let's find our halfway lift. So fingertips come up to the shins. Thinking about sending the crown of the head forwards, tailbone to the back of the room. As you exhale, soften back into that fold and then very gently bend in the knees so much so that we can plant the hands down towards the mat. Stepping one foot back, then the other to come into your plank pose, finding that nice long line throughout the body. Feel free to drop the knees straight away here, but maybe staying for a deep breath in. And then as we exhale, let's all drop the knees. We're going to hug the elbows in softly, lower belly and chest at the same time. Beautiful. Coming all the way down to the ground. And then let's find a little sphinx pose, shall we? So we're going to bring our elbows underneath the shoulders, forearms down towards the ground, lightly pressing the fingertips into the mat here or into the earth. Thinking about whether we can shrug those shoulders a little bit further down and away from those ears, allowing us to have this beautiful long neck. And rather than gazing straight ahead and almost crunching through the back of the neck, maybe we tuck the chin ever so slightly, maybe gazing just in between the hands to keep that length all the way through the back of the neck, down through the spine. So even as we move into this gentle back bend, this heart opener, thinking about maintaining that length as best as we can. Beautiful, let's just take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Lovely, let's gently slide those elbows out to the side, ripple the heart all the way down. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and then we're going to push ourselves up through our little tabletop and then tucking the toes under, we're going to send the hips high to the sky, take a little downward facing dog. Beautiful, now feel free to have as much or as little move and groove in your down dog. So you might have this good pedal out through the feet, bending in one knee, then the other. Or if stillness is what you prefer here, feel free to lean into that. So you might think about really pressing the belly back to the thighs, lifting the sit bones up to the sky, letting the head hang heavy. So give the head a little shimmy, a little shake, a little nod. Beautiful. Feel all 10 fingertips rooting down into the earth. Take one more breath. One more exhale. And then as we inhale, let's look forwards towards our fingertips. Little bend through the knees and you're just going to softly plod the feet all the way towards the hands. One teeny tiny step after the other coming into your forward fold. Hang heavy here. Lovely stuff. Maybe catch hold of opposite elbows for a moment. Have a little sway from side to side if that feels good. Thinking about releasing across the lower spine, releasing across the back of the neck. One more breath. One more exhale. Beautiful, and then releasing the arms. A little bend through the knees and let's softly roll up through the spine. So push the feet into the earth as you slowly stack up bone by bone. See if you can identify each moment where one vertebrae stacks on top of the other. And then as we come up to standing, head is gonna be the final thing to lift. Let's take a nice big shoulder roll as we get here. Lift the shoulders up to the ears as you inhale. Exhale, send them down and away as you exhale. Beautiful. Let's move into our second round. Take a deep breath in. Sweep the fingertips up to the sky. Maybe feeling we can reach up just that little bit higher. And then as we exhale, hips back, heart dives forwards, down into that forward fold. Maybe there's a little bit more space to go here. Again, if we're still met with that resistance, can we meet it with that smile, meet it with that softness? Beautiful. And then on your inhale, let's find that halfway lift. So fingertips come to the shins, crown of the head reaching forwards, tailbone reaching back, thinking about creating length through the spine. And as you exhale, seeing if we can maintain that length as we fold back down. Beautiful. Then to the knees, plant in the hands. And again, let's step one foot back, then the other into our plank pose, finding that nice long line. Take a breath in. 
And then as we exhale, let's again drop the knees down to the ground. We're gonna hug the elbows in, softly come all the way down onto your bellies. Beautiful. Let's find that Sphinx pose again. So forearms down to the earth, elbows underneath your shoulders. And let's think about activating through the glutes just a little bit more now. So squeezing through the muscles of your bum. Again, we've got the shoulders down and away from the ears. And as you squeeze through the glutes, can we think about driving the hips down into the earth? Beautiful. It's a very subtle kind of adjustment there. It might not be visible to the outside eye. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Beautiful. And then from here, still lightly pushing down through the forearms, still driving the hips down towards the ground. Can we start to lift the feet off? And you're thinking about squeezing your heels towards your sit bone. So you might separate the knees a tad. See if you can bring your big toes together to touch. Maybe having that little push down through the forearms, lifting the head that little bit higher. And if you wanted to, you might push down through the fingertips, maybe lift the elbows off of that, but that might feel like a little bit too much today. So if you prefer to keep the elbows down, you can do. Wherever we are, let's take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Beautiful. Let's release the elbows down to the ground, release the feet back behind you. Slide the elbows out to the side and again, ripple the heart all the way down to the earth. Beautiful. Hands underneath the shoulders. Let's again rise up through our little tabletop and then tuck in the toes. Hips are going to go high, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Now again, take that little bit of movement or maybe find stillness here for your breath in. For your breath out. And then from here, can we ground down through the right foot? We're going to take that left leg to the sky. Now, as you take that left leg to the sky, can you bend into that left knee and open out through that left hip? So as if you want to stack that left hip on top of right and lift that left knee high out to the side as it wants to go. Now, we might prefer to be still here, or we might start to draw these nice big circles with this left knee in the air. So as much of a circle you can draw with that left knee, letting it dive down towards the ground, perhaps thighs brush up against one another, and then taking it back out to the side. Beautiful. Maybe once more this direction. Again, use your breath to help you. And then we're going to change the direction, go the other way. And again, let's just take three circles. Beautiful, as big as you can. Two more. One more. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Beautiful. As you finish that final circle, you can let that left foot come down next to the right. Staying in our down dog, let's see if we can go straight onto the other side. So a little bit of strength through the shoulders. So again, sending that right leg up, bending into that right knee, peeling the right hip back. And here we go. Start to draw those nice big circles. Three one way and then three the other. Beautiful. Really well done. Use your breath. As big a circle as you can. Changing that direction if you haven't already, going the other way around. Beautiful, how much of a circle can you draw? Okay, it's just one more big circle here. You've got a deep breath in, deep breath out. Lovely, let that right foot come down next to the left. From here, have a little bend through the knees, look forwards towards your fingertips. And let's go again and just wilt the feet all the way towards the hands. Coming into that forward fold, and maybe this time we just give the wrists a little shake here. The shoulders a little shimmy, so let those precious joints relax just for a moment. Today we're doing a lot of the strength work there, so let them soften. Okay. One more inhale. One more exhale. Okay. Let's bend through the knees and again, slowly stacking up bone by bone, fingertips drag up the length of your legs. Head is the final thing to lift. Take that nice big shoulder roll. Exhale, send them down and away. Beautiful, so hopefully you're starting to feel that little warmer. Final round, take a breath, reach up tall. Exhale, dive it down, back into that fold. Big breath in, halfway lift. So again, find length, create space. Exhale, soften back into that fold. Bend the knees, plant the hands. And again, let's step one foot back, then the other into your plank pose. Deep breath in. 
Exhale, maybe we keep the knees lifted this time as we shift the weight forward, hug the elbows in and see if we can lower down as one piece. Beautiful. As we come down here, let's again come into our Sphinx pose. Beautiful. Okay. And we're going to do something a little bit different this time. So take a breath as you arrive into your Sphinx. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Now we're going to find this movement with the head and neck. So let's first of all, let the chin drop down towards the chest. And then you're going to sweep your left ear towards your left shoulder. Maybe find a little stretch through the right side of the neck. And then let's go again, the chin down towards the chest, and let's go across to the other side, right ear down to the right shoulder. Beautiful, couple times, left to right, let the head be heavy. Let it softly move one way, then the other. Okay, let's maybe go one more time, side to side, one more time to the left. One more time to the right. Beautiful, now this time we're gonna involve the legs in here. So as you send your head back around to the left, you're gonna push down through the hands, lift one elbow, then the other. Maybe you lift one foot, then the other, lift the heart to the sky and go down the other way. Beautiful, well done. So we're finding this nice big circle with the head here, with the legs here. So you're sending your heart round and round. Let's go a couple more times that same direction. So you go to the left. Push down through the hands, lift one elbow, then the other, lift one foot, then the other, squeeze heels to your bum, and then drop one elbow, then the other, and let the feet come down. One more time in this direction. Beautiful, head to the left, one elbow rises, other elbow rises, one foot lifts, other foot lifts, and then softly coming down, beautiful. As you come through the center, we're gonna just change that direction. So going round to the right, drop the right ear to the right shoulder, and then one elbow lifts, other elbow follows, lifting one foot and the other, beautiful. Taking your time as you softly move through this so you can set the pace here. And don't feel as though you have to lift the elbow. So again, if it's a little bit too much for your lower spine, you can keep the elbows down and maybe just focus on lifting the feet maybe. Let's go one more time, nice big circle. Exhale. Beautiful, coming back into your sphinx. Take a deep breath in. As we exhale, let's slide the elbows out to the side, heart comes down, hands underneath the shoulders. And let's again rise up into our tabletop, tucking the toes, hips go high, down with facing dog. Beautiful, really well done. Okay, have another little move and groove if you wish. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Beautiful. Now this time, let's again ground down through that right foot. You're going to send that left leg to the sky. And again, we're going to open out into that left hip. Now this time, you can either stay here, holding that left knee out to the side. Or we might go ahead and lengthen that left leg. So stretching your left toes high out to the sky as they want to go but continuing to roll that left hip back. Beautiful, you might shift your weight ever so slightly across to the right, but can we still grip down through those left fingertips? Aiming to find that deep stretch across the left hip flexor. Beautiful, take a deep breath in. As we exhale, we're really gently gonna let that left foot float all the way down, next to right, and we're gonna change straight over. So shift the weight into the left leg, right leg goes up to the sky, Again, open out into that right hip, so stack that right hip on top of left, beautiful. And you can either keep the leg bent or you might straighten that right leg and it's almost like you want to point your right toes over to the left hand side. Beautiful, take a breath. Take an exhale. Beautiful, floating that right leg all the way down next to the left. Beautiful, take a little bend through the knees. And again, let's look forward to the top. And let's make our way all the way back to the top of the mat. Beautiful, okay. Coming into that fold. Let's again hang out here for a moment to shake off the wrists, a little shimmy through the shoulders maybe. Okay, full breath in. Full breath out. Take a little bend through the knees, steadily roll it through the spine, fingertips drag up the length of the legs. Push the feet into the earth, stacking up taller and taller each time head rises. Take a nice big shoulder roll. 
exhale beautiful hopefully we're feeling nice and warm so let's again take a deep breath let's sweep the arms up as we exhale let's dive it down into our fold let's just have a halfway lift here so fingertips towards the shins rise up exhale soften back into the fold now this time let's bend the knees and take a nice big step back with the left leg so we're moving into our flow now let's softly lower that left knee all the way down to the ground and untuck those left toes let's brush the fingertips along the mat rise up into your low lunge okay now from here, instead of kind of sinking super far down in our low lunge today, let's push down through that right foot, lift up out of the hips ever so slightly, and just focus on tucking that tailbone under, driving your left hip forward. It's beautiful. And hopefully that enables us to feel that stretch across the front of the left hip flexor here. From here, if it feels okay, let's take the arms up to the sky and you can keep the palms to hands separated. Or you might bring the palms to hands together, taking Kali Mudra, so interlacing the fingertips, keeping your index fingers pointing up to the sky, crossing at your thumbs. Take a deep breath in. We're going to lengthen those index fingers up to the sky, a little squeeze of the arms together. Beautiful. Lifting the shoulders up ever so slightly up to the ears, but also squeezing them back behind you. Almost like you want to wriggle your arms back behind your ears. And it's a very slight lift up through the heart space, lift the chin away from the chest. Making sure we can still breathe fully and completely here. Take a breath. Take an exhale. Beautiful. And then from here. We can go ahead, bring the palms to hands down through heart center. Thumbs gently rest against your sternum, deep breath in. As we exhale, let's take a little twist to the right hand side. And maybe we hook this left elbow to the outside edge of our right knee. Now, can we keep those thumbs in line with our sternum? Pressing the palms together, elbows out to the side. Lovely stuff, take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Now maybe, let's see how we go with this. Can we tuck those left toes under? Maybe we can pick up that left knee back behind us. So a little, more, little bit more strength through the legs now, but you've got it. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Now as you inhale, you're going to strongly push down through that right foot. Lift the chest, take away that twist. Carefully lower that left heel. Open the arms out for a warrior two. Beautiful. So again, that was a little bit of strength for the legs here. But here we are. Take a moment just to softly land in your warrior two. And however we got there, if it's a little bit wobbly along the way, it doesn't matter. Okay? Have that little bit of softness through the shoulders. Energy reaching out through the fingertips. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Beautiful, let's have a little reverse. We're gonna flip that right palm up to the sky. Inhale, stretch out through those right fingertips. Grow tall, tall, tall. Left hand just rests on the back of that left thigh here. Beautiful, keep sinking into that right knee for a moment. One more inhale. One more exhale. Now maybe we push down through that right foot, start to lengthen that right leg to come into your reverse triangle. So that might give you a little bit more space to lean towards the back. You might also bring your hand, right hand to the back of the head and think about leading with your right elbow. Beautiful. Now can we send our breath right to that space down your right side body where your rib cage kind of ends just before your pelvis begins. That space there, beautiful. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Okay. Let's inhale. Softly release the arms. Come back into a T shape. You might just have a little bend through that right knee for a moment and feel free to take a moment to adjust the feet if needs be. Shorten your stance maybe. Whatever it is. Take a breath. As we exhale, we're going to reach forwards with the right fingertips as far forwards as you can go. Gently bringing right hand to maybe the right thigh or right shin. Or maybe it just comes to the inside of the leg. Beautiful. Now you might prefer to send left fingertips straight up to the sky. Or maybe reach left arm up and over so your left bicep comes just by your left ear. Thinking about lifting your left side body up to the sky. Beautiful, well done. So no worries if we're not so far down, we might be a little bit higher up here, that's okay too. Making sure we're not putting too much pressure on the knee, however, so have that little bit of softness through the knee as best as you can. Well done, so wherever you are, take a breath in. Take a breath out. 
beautiful looking down to the ground have that little bend through that right knee as you circle the left arm down right hand comes to the inside of the right foot heel toe that right foot to the outer edge of the mat spin onto the ball of that left foot lift in the left heel and sink the hips down for your lizard lunge beautiful now feel free to either keep the back knee lifted or you might prefer to drop it down towards the ground and take a little bit of pressure out of the hips here a little bit of the strength element away so feel free to do that if that feels best okay take a deep breath in take a deep breath out Let's have one more here. Feel free to maybe have a little shimmy through the hips as you go. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Beautiful, from here. Let's push down through the hands, lift up out of the hips. Now you're gonna sweep this right leg all the way around, crossing it slightly over to that left hand side, staying on the ball of that right foot. Push the ground away, so knit the rib cage together, and then having that little look past your left shoulder, see if you can spy your right heel. Beautiful, breathing into that right side body. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Lovely stuff, okay. Inhale, looking back in between the palms of the hands. We're gonna take what I like to call a cat tail motion here. So imagine your right leg is the tail of a cat, and you might keep those right toes kind of down towards the ground. You're going to sweep them all the way around out to that right hand side. Bring them as far forwards as they want to go. As you exhale, you're simply going to sweep them all the way around to the back. Beautiful. Now feel free to again keep the toes down. Or you might take that right leg to the sky and it's the same thing. You might have a little bend through that right knee as you take it to the right hand side. Maybe kick it out to that right hand side. Exhale, sweep it all the way around. Try not to kick the wall like I just did. <laughs> Beautiful. And flick the toes out to that side. So again, maybe you can look past your left shoulder, see your right toes. Let's go twice more. Kick the right leg out to that right hand side. Exhale, sweep it out in front. <sighs> Lovely. One more time, inhale out to the right hand side. Exhale, sweep it to the back. But as you sweep to the back now, maybe we pivot on this left knee slightly, swing that left ankle slightly back behind you. You could take a moment to drop those right toes down to the ground, shift the weight into the left hand, take that right arm up to the sky. Or maybe we keep that right foot lifted. We might bend into that right knee. We might reach for that right foot. And if we get hold of it, can we kick the foot into the hand and drive the hips out to that right hand side? Now, if we can't get hold of the foot just yet, no worries. Maybe we keep reaching it, reaching for it. Maybe one day it might float into the hand. Or we just extend that right leg to the back and keeping it down or keep it lifted. So wherever you are, again, it's exactly where you're meant to be today. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Beautiful. Releasing that right foot if you've got it. Can we keep it lifted as we circle the right hand down towards the ground? Right knee comes in towards the chest, round through the back. And you're softly going to settle your right shin down towards the mat here. Beautiful. Take a moment to maybe swing that right ankle just a little bit further forwards and then lengthen your left leg to the back of the mat here. So coming into your pigeon pose, seeing if we can sink the hips down to the ground as one and maybe take a deep breath in. As we exhale, let's softly come down onto the elbows. <sighs> Beautiful. Settling into our pigeon pose. And you might continue using the support of the elbows to give the chest a little bit, to keep the chest a little bit lifted. Or you might bring the elbows out to the side. Maybe forehead comes to the back of the hands. Now, as always, it's entirely up to you with whatever you prefer today. Okay. Let's take a few moments to settle. So feeling that gentle pull of gravity welcoming you closer and closer down towards the earth soil. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let's maybe take two more here. Full breath in through the nose. Fill up the lungs. Exhale, side all out. One more time. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Okay. 
And from here, let's gently push down through the hands. You're gonna rise all the way up. Okay. And then from here, let's tuck those left toes under. Walk that left knee in a couple of times. We're gonna push the hands into the earth. Step that right foot back into your downward facing dog. And maybe we have, again, that little pedal out through the feet, a little shimmy through the hips. Whatever feels good for your bodies here, feel free to take maybe that little bit of movement. And then bending through the knees, looking forwards towards your fingertips. Let's gently make our way to the top of the mat, walking one foot to then the other. Coming into our forward fold once more. So again, hang out heavy here. Lovely, enjoy that stretch down the back of the legs and notice whether that resistance that we fought for, that we discovered at the beginning of our practice, whether it's still there or maybe again, it's softened slightly. Beautiful. Let's take a breath in, push the feet down into the earth. Let's slowly stack up bone by bone, rising up tall. And as always, head is the final thing to lift. Take that nice big shoulder roll, lift them up to the ears. Exhale, send them down and away. Beautiful. Let's make our way back down. Inhale, sweep the arms up, tall, tall, tall. Exhale, hinge at the hips, diving down to the ground. Really well done. Let's inhale, halfway lift. So again, find that length, create space. Exhale, soften back into the fold. And then bend in the knees, plant in the hands. Let's this time take a nice big step back with the right leg. Carefully lowering that right knee down towards the ground. And then when you're ready, lifting up into your low lunge, okay? So again, maybe keeping a little right angle in that left knee. Tucking the tailbone under so without collapsing into our joints here, making sure we're giving our body a little bit more support. Your thighs might almost act like they're kind of squeezing together here. Beautiful. If it feels okay, let's take the arms up to the sky. And again, you can keep the palms to hands separated, or we might take that Kali Mudra, so interlacing the fingertips, stretching the index fingers up to the sky, wriggling the arms back behind your ears, little lift up through the heart space. Little lift of the chin up towards the sky. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Beautiful. From here, gently lower the palms to hands down through heart center. Thumbs to your sternum here. Take a breath. Exhale, a little twist towards the left hand side. Maybe we hook this right elbow to the outside edge of that left knee, finding that little twist as you hook the elbow. So again, take a moment to realign your thumbs against your sternum. Maybe pushing into the hands, elbows out to the side. Well done, take a breath. Deep breath out. Okay. Now let's see, again, it's that little bit of strength creeping in here. Can we tuck those right toes under? Can we lift right knee away from the ground? No worries if it feels a little bit tricky today. Again, let's just give it a go. If it happens, great. If it doesn't happen, also great. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Beautiful. And then from here, really push down through that left foot. You're going to take the twist away, rise up through a high lunge, and then carefully lower that right heel. Open the arms out into that T-shape warrior two. Now, again, if that transition just felt a little bit sticky for us today, a little bit wobbly maybe, again, take your time just to find your warrior two and land here. So it doesn't matter about what just happened there in the transition. Bring yourselves now to this moment, okay? Ground yourselves. Take a breath. Take an exhale, beautiful. We're gonna reverse it, flip that left palm up to the sky. Inhale, reach up through those left fingertips, the right hand just comes to rest on that right thigh. Thinking about shining the heart up here, beautiful. Breath in, breath out. Let's push down through that left foot, lengthen that left leg, take it to a reverse triangle. Maybe that enables you to lean that little bit further back. Breathing into that space right between your rib cage and your pelvis. Now again, maybe we bring our left hand to the back of the head, lead with that left elbow. Might be a slightly deeper sensation here. Well done. Take a breath. Take an exhale. Okay. As we inhale, let's softly come back through our T-shape with the arms. And again, you might take a moment just to have that little bend through the knees, just to soften slightly. Adjust the feet if you need to. Deep breath, 
Now as we exhale, we're going to reach forwards with the left fingertips as far forwards as you can go. Releasing that left hand, maybe take hold of the shin or the ankle, or maybe just bring it to the inside of that left leg. Taking that right arm up towards the sky. Or you might think about reaching the right arm up and over. So right bicep by your right ear, lifting right side body up to the sky. Beautiful. And again, it's only for a breath. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Let's softly circle that right arm all the way down towards the ground. Left hand comes to the inside of that left leg. Start to heel toe that left foot to the outer edge of the mat. Carefully lower, right knee all the way down to the ground into your lizard lunge. Or of course, if you wanted to, you could keep, could keep rather that back knee lifted for that slightly deeper stretch. It's entirely up to you today. Okay. Little shift of weight side to side. Let's just take two breaths here in our lizard lunge. Beautiful. One more. Okay. Lovely stuff. Okay, from here, pushing down through the hands, lifting out of the hips. You're going to start to sweep this left leg around now, crossing it slightly over to the right hand side, tucking the left toes under, and then pushing the ground away, knitting the rib cage together. Start to look past your right shoulder, see if we can spy that left heel. Beautiful. A little stretch through the left side body here. Take a breath. And take an exhale. Okay, now have an inhale just to bring your gaze to look back in between the palms, finding that cat tail motion again. So again, you might just sweep left leg all the way out to that left hand side, keeping the toes connected down to the ground. Or you might take that left leg into the sky, sweep it round to the back, have that little bend through the knee, maybe looking past your right shoulder for those left toes and keeping that going. So send the left knee out to the side. Extend that left leg. Exhale, sweep it back around. Beautiful. So again, imagine it's the tail of the cat softly flicking from side to side. Well done. Exhale, sweep it around. Feeling those glutes working here. Let's go one more time. Inhale, take it out to the side. Exhale, sweep it around. Now, as you go, maybe we pivot onto that right knee. And you might take a moment just to drop that left foot down to the ground, grounding down through that right hand, take the left arm to the sky. And you can stay here if this is where you want to be. Feel free to stay, that's cool too. You might experiment by taking that left leg to the sky. You might also have that little go at bending into that left knee, reaching the left hand around and seeing if we can catch hold of that left foot. If we get hold of it, can we kick the foot into the hand, lift up through the head and heart? Beautiful. Now, again, if we can't grab hold of the foot today, it doesn't matter. Might keep reaching for it. Maybe one day it will happen. Or we might just come back to one of the previous options. It's all good. Okay. Wherever we are, let's take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Beautiful. Releasing that left foot if you've got it. Keep the left leg lifted if we can as we bring that left hand down towards the mat. Drive that left knee in towards the chest, a little round through the back. And softly settle that left shin down towards the ground. Beautiful. Let's from here swing the left ankle a little bit further forward. And then lengthen that right leg as far as it wants to go to the back of the mat. Coming into our pigeon pose on the other side. Beautiful. So have that little wriggle through the hips, making sure that we're not crashing down to one side too much. Can we, in fact, keep the hips fairly level, fairly central? Take a breath. As we exhale, let's softly come down onto those elbows, onto the forearms. Letting the heart once again sink down towards the ground here. Beautiful. And let's roughly take about five breaths here. Similar amount of time, hopefully, to what we did on the other side. Beautiful, really well done. Now again, if you want to let the heart sink further, you're more than welcome to do so. Slide in the elbows out to the side, let the forehead maybe kiss the earth or the back of the hands. So feel free to take away or add in anything we may need here, anything that's going to serve you best. Okay. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. 
Beautiful. Let's maybe have one more deep, fulfilling breath in. Deep breath out. Okay. From here, we're going to push down through the hands, softly rise all the way up. Take your time to tuck those right toes under, walk the right knee in. And then when you're ready, you're going to lift the hips, stepping that left foot back next to right into our final downward facing dog. Maybe have one final little wriggle, little groove here. Notice how this down dog may be feeling different compared to our very first one of our practice today. One more inhale. And as we exhale, let's softly lower the knees all the way down towards the ground. Beautiful. Taking your time as you swing the ankles round to one side, you're going to bring your sit bones all the way down towards the mat. Sweep the legs out in front. Take a moment just to kind of softly land here. And then from here, we're going to bring ourselves all the way down onto our backs. So take your time rolling down through the spine as you go. Maybe take a moment just to draw the knees into the chest here. Let the whole spine meet the mat or maybe let the knees point up to the sky. Now, as you come to lie back here, really notice the support of the mat beneath you, the, the support of the earth beneath you. And as you perhaps take one final look up to the sky, even if you're inside here and you might not be able to see the sky, Again, just allowing ourselves to take that one final look up. Imagine that beautiful bright sky above us here. That sun gently piercing through any clouds that might be there. And the sun's rays shining down upon us. Beautiful. And then after you've taken that final look, maybe allowing yourselves to close off the eyes. Again, closing off the outside world and settling here. Taking any last minute final wriggles here and there. And whatever shape you have landed here, land as softly as you can. Knowing all that's left to do for our summer solstice practice today is just to allow ourselves to breathe and be, sinking into the earth sinking back into that deep communication with your breath. Listen to what those whispers of your body might have to say to you now. But above all, just rest here. Finding yourselves on the longest day of the year on International Yoga Day. And just take a moment to pause, even if it's a little glimpse. Rest here. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Softly sigh out through the mouth. And again, deep breath in. 
deep breath out. One final time, and again, let it be the deepest breath you've had yet today. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Softly start to wriggle through fingertips and toes. Rotating the wrists and the ankles. Allow that movement to build into anything you need it to be right now. Take a nice juicy stretch along the mat. We'll curl the knees into the chest, anything at all. And in your own time, choose a side, either the left or the right, and begin to roll to that one side. No need to rush here. Beautiful, using your hands to help you. Let's softly rise all the way up. Finding a comfortable seat on the mat here. Okay. So let's take a moment again, just to nestle sit bones into the earth here. Palms to hands come to land upon the knees. Beautiful. Let's bring the, let's take a moment to slide those shoulders down and away from those ears. Again, finding that length through the spine, crown of the head, reaching up to that beautiful sky above. And let's close off the eyes as we seal our practice as always with the final blessing. May the sun bring you new energy by day. May the moon softly restore you at night. May the rain wash away your worries. And may the breeze blow new strength throughout your being. And may you walk through the world knowing its beauty all the days of your life. And with that, the palms, the hands come together in front of the heart. And we bow. Beautiful, rising on up when you're ready. Oh, thank you so much, lovely ones, for joining me for that little practice for the summer solstice for International Yoga Day. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the day, whatever it's going to bring. Get out in the sunshine and hopefully the sun will be shining. And yeah, have a lovely day. And I hope to see you back on the mat very soon. So I'll see you then. Bye. Hey Yogi, thank you so much for practicing with me. I really hope you enjoyed your practice. Just thought I'd sneak in at the end here and say if you are wanting to practice a little bit more, if you perhaps want to dive a little bit deeper into the beautiful world of yoga, then the great news is, is that I'm offering one-to-ones online. So you can join me from the comfort of your home, me from mine, and we can get together either live online or I'll pre-record some classes just for you. And the beauty of those practices is that they are tailored to what you desire. So if you're just wanting to learn a little bit more about yoga, if you're a beginner and you're not quite sure what's what and you want to get a deeper understanding of anatomy or how the body kind of moves around on the mat, or maybe you're just wanting to try slightly different practices. If you're wanting to try yin yoga, for example, or maybe we're kind of building up the confidence to maybe return to the studio in person and we're not quite got that confidence just yet. So if any of those speak to you, or maybe it's something else entirely, do feel free to reach out to me. You can either check me out on Instagram, send me a message over there, or just send me an email. And I would love to practice with you. Whatever it is, I'd love to tailor the practice to suit you, suit your individual needs, and we can go on this little journey together. So as I say, all the details are below if you want to have a chat, and I hope to hear from you very soon. All right, lots of love. Mwah.